historic day in Whitby as the town's first new lifeboat in 27 years finally arrived in the harbour. Colla Fowler was there. Arriving in style, the future of Whitby lifeboats. This new Shannon-class lifeboat appeared between Whitby's piers at 13.49 today, also its operational number. It set out from Poole, where it was built on Thursday. Hundreds witnessed the arrival flotilla today with lifeboats from Stades and Scarborough and local vessels of all kinds. Whitby volunteer crew were on board the Lois Ivan to see it safely into its new harbour. The power and agility of this boat will transform their work. Our old boat's getting a little bit tired now, so um, and the new the new boat's got a lot of upgrades. It's a lot faster. Um, it's not a conventional uh, propeller boat. It's, we've, we've gone to a jet powered boat as well, so um, more manoeuvrable and just an all round high boat. It cost roughly two and a half million pounds, most of which came from a legacy donation, but much also from the Launch a Memory campaign. Some 10,000 people have pitched in to have the names of their loved ones printed within the lettering on the boat's hull. It's a lot of the crew, their family names are going to be on the side of the boat as well. So when we put to sea, our families are going to be there with us. For many, it's a day full of emotion. We lost mum eight years ago. Um, she always supported the RNLI, so we've come down to watch her coming in. I've come from Harrogate with uh, my son and friends uh, just to see it arrive. The current Trent lifeboat will stay operational for the next couple of weeks as intense training now begins for all of the crew on their new state-of-the-art lifeboat. Carla Fowler, BBC Look North, Whitby.